How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech. So let's say you forgot your iPad passcode. And by iPad passcode, I mean this, the lock screen passcode. So you just forgot the code and there's no way you can use your iPad. It can't get in, you can't go past this screen. So maybe your iPad is just like mine. It's fully working, but it just forgot the code. So you can't use it. Or maybe even worse, you have tried so many times that your iPad is like that, disabled. iPad is disabled, as you can see, and it doesn't matter if it's disabled for one minute, 15 minutes, hours, it doesn't matter. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to remove that forgotten passcode, how to actually reset it and create a new one if you have forgotten it. So it's incredible. And on top of that, this will work on any and all iPad models, from the iPad 1 to the latest iPads it doesn't matter and it also is updated this process is 2021 updated so if your ipad is already running ipad os 15 or as i said if it's running a really old version of ios no problem this will work for everyone this video will save your life but before we begin i have to give you a few pieces of information which are very very important as well one, in this video, I'll focus on iPads with home buttons. So any iPad with a home button, um, you can follow this tutorial and I guarantee you, you'll finish it without a passcode. You'll be able to completely reset it and create a new one. But if you have an iPad Pro without a home button that you use gestures and all of that, I have dedicated video for those devices for the iPad Pros without home buttons and I'll have a card right here so you can go ahead and check it out and also uh, if you're having this problem of a forgotten passcode on your iPhone I also have a dedicated video for that so also card right here and link in the description so I got you covered in any and all scenarios and also two extra pieces of information that are super, super important. One is that this video follows the official Apple support tutorial. So I got their tutorial, their step-by-step -step guide, and then created this video. So it's important for you to understand that everything that I'm teaching you here comes straight from Apple. And two, this video, this guide will only work if the iPad is yours. If you own the iPad and you forgot your own iPad lock screen passcode. If you're trying to do it for any other reason, it just won't work. Okay, so again, it will only work if you forgot your own iPad lock screen passcode and you're trying to reset it and create a new one. Otherwise, it won't work, trust me, all right? So now, Let's finally begin, let's go. So as you can see, we'll need a computer for this process, but don't worry because you can use a Mac like I'm using, or you can use a Windows PC. So no matter what computer you have, it will work. This method is compatible with any and all computers. And also, you don't even need to own a computer. You can even borrow one. You can literally use any computer for this, okay? so. If you have a Windows PC, you will need to download iTunes and I'll leave a link in the description for you to download iTunes. As you know, iTunes is a free software made by Apple, so it's super safe. So you can download and install on your Windows PC right now if you don't have it already. And if you're using a Mac, you don't need to download any software. You already have everything you need, all right? Now, we will need to go to Safari and go to this website, which is called IPSW.me. I'll also have a link in the description to this website. And we're going to IPSW.me to download the IPSW file. So the firmware, the iOS or iPadOS itself. It's much better to go ahead and download the iOS or iPadOS manually right now instead of letting iTunes download it. Trust me, this is the best method. I've been using this for years. This is the way to go, right? So right now you can just click on iPad. On the first screen, you scroll down, click on iPad, and then if there's an ad, you can easily close it. And then you're gonna look for your iPad model. Right here, you can find any and all iPad models from iPad 1, all the way to the all the way up to the latest ones and if you're not 100 percent sure on your ipad model i got you covered as well you can easily go to identify my device right here at the top 
identify my device, scroll down a bit, and then you're gonna type in your model number. And of course, you don't know your model number by heart, but you can find it either on the box, at the back of the box, or on the iPad itself. Right here, it's very easy. You will find it, model, right here. It, sh it should start with an A. So in my case, it is A2197. So then identify my device then wait for it to load and as you can see it'll take you straight to the exact download you need to, to download right the exact file you need to download uh, as you can see this is an ipad 7 wi-fi that's the exact model i have and then all you need to do now is download the top file you have here under assigned ipsws you will see one two it will depend but you will need to download the green one and I recommend you to download the latest one. And this is the latest signed IPSW, meaning that this will work when you're trying to do a process. If you download any other version, any of the unsigned ones, the red ones, it will not work, okay? So you will need to download the latest version of iOS, which is available right now. It's iPadOS 14.7.1. When you're watching this video, it may be iPadOS 15. Doesn't matter, download the green one. It will work, I guarantee. So click on it and then scroll down and go to download. This size may vary a little bit, but it will be always around that size. I have already downloaded it before, so I can cancel it because I already have it right here. And now what I recommend you to do is go to your download folder and then drag the file, the downloaded file to your desktop. You can already close ipsw.me and then I recommend you to have in, the, in your desktop, it'll be much easier in just a few seconds in the next steps. The next step is to actually grab your iPad and turn it off, okay? And it doesn't matter if your iPad is disabled or not, it doesn't matter what screen you're seeing here, it's always the same process and it works the exact same way for everybody, okay? So all you gotta do is power off and as you know, you need to press and hold the power button. So press and hold it until you see the slide to shut down and then you will do exactly that, slide to shut down to power off and then while we wait because sometimes it takes five to ten seconds to completely shut down your ipad i do recommend that if you're using a windows pc that you open up itunes right now okay so open up itunes on your pc right now if you're using a mac you don't need to do this step this is just a pro tip okay so now that the ipad is completely off we can finally plug it in to the computer so you get your cable, your authentic original Apple cable, connected to your computer, and then the other end, you will naturally connect to your iPad, but you will not simply connect it. What you gotta do is actually press and hold the home button and then connect it. So as you can see, I'm pressing and holding the home button right here, just the home button, and then I'm gonna connect it while I do that. So as you can see, pressing and holding the home button and the cable is connected and I'm just waiting. Okay, so wait and wait and wait because this will make your iPad go to recovery mode. On most cases, you will see a pop-up screen on your Mac or on your Windows PC inside iTunes, but if you don't for some reason, you can still keep holding just to make sure and you can open up your software. So it can be either a uh, finder if you're doing this on a later version of Mac OS or, you, or iTunes if you're using uh, an older version of Mac or Windows PC. And as you can see, there's a problem that requires it to be restored. That's the screen we want. So you can let go the button. As you can see, I'm letting go and you can leave your iPad to the side. So my iPad is on the table and it is still connected. As you guys can see, it's connected here, it's connected here, and we don't need to touch the iPad anymore. So the iPad is successfully in uh, recovery mode, in restore mode, and now that's exactly what we need. Uh, you can cancel this first pop-up. Now, all you gotta do is restore your iPad. And I know a lot of you guys 
will be asking me right now, okay, Daniel, but I don't want to restore my iPad. I'll lose all my data. That's right. You will lose all your data, but that's the only way to do it. But wait, relax, because after you restore your iPad, you can recover all your data from your backups. So don't worry. You probably do already have an iCloud backup or your iTunes backup, and you can recover the backup after the restore process okay so you will need to restore it but we can recover the data afterwards all right now we don't want to just click restore ipad because we want to actually attach this file right here which is the ipad os the software the ipsw that we have just downloaded all right so it's right here so uh, in order to attach and to actually use this file to restore our ipad all you need to do is actually hold a key on your keyboard while you click on Re restore iPad. If you're doing this on a Mac, like I'm doing, you're going to hit the option key on the keyboard, and I'm doing it right now, and click with your normal left click. And then a little window will pop up, and you can select your file right here in the desktop, which is this file right here. So click and open. Keep in mind that if you're doing this on a Windows PC, on a Windows machine, it's the exact same thing, but instead of holding the Option key, you'll be holding the Shift key on your keyboard, but the exact same thing. Hit the Shift key on your keyboard and then click your normal left click, and then you see the exact same pop-up window popping up on Windows, all right? And then you will see that your Mac will erase and restore uh, your iPad to iPadOS 14.7.1, which is the exact same one we have just downloaded. That's this file right here, so we can restore. And then the restoring process has begun. And as you can see, it will extract the software and start doing its thing. Um, keep in mind again that this is the exact same process for everyone. Uh, it will only change depending on what machine you have. So if you're doing this uh, on a Windows PC, uh, you may see it right here at the top because iTunes will show you uh, right here at the top. If you're doing this on a Mac, it'll show you down here, but it's the exact same thing, guys. As you can see, my iPad has just waken up, so it's showing now the Apple logo, and then all of the process will be done automatically, and you don't need to do absolutely anything, all right? So you can leave your iPad as it is, you can leave your computer as it is, and you will have to leave the cable plugged in, so don't touch anything. Let the computer and the iPad do their thing. And let's just wait, and after everything is done, I'll be back. And then, as you can see, after a few minutes, you will see a pop-up window saying that your iPad has been restored to factory settings, and it's restarting. So please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So as you can see, even though uh, it has been already restored, you still need to leave it connected right here until it's actually completely done. Okay, I'll be back when it's completely done. Let's wait a few more minutes. And then, as you can see, your iPad will come back to life on the hello screen. And then that's where you can actually unplug. You don't need to be connected to the computer anymore. And then you're good to go. You can finally go ahead and create your new passcode because your iPad has been reset to factory settings. And then you can start setting it up from the top. Choose your language, choose everything, and then, of course, put your new passcode this time please put on a passcode that you do remember and that's pretty much it guys if you continue right here with the setup process that's where you act you can actually recover all your data all your information from an iCloud backup so then you can just set it up as you would your iPad is brand new back to normal and you have solved your problem you have solved your issue and then you can use your iPad once again, all right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and also the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. I do post videos regularly, at least twice a week here on the channel. And that's it. Leave your comment down below as well. I always love to read your feedback. So that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.